Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I'd like to bring you this prophetic uh, letter from Dawn that I get. It's got an awesome message from someone that doesn't normally contribute to it and also a couple of others. The first one is The Trumpet by Bill Burns. He says this. The Lord says this. Gave it to, to Bill. These are dangerous times. Therefore, I am calling you to a higher level of understanding, a level of being able to see and hear and to know the direction that you are to walk in. Stay under the shelter of my outspread wings so that I can protect you and guide you. The travesty of this world need not touch you. Even though you will see it all around you, you will find yourself in a secure and safe habitation in me. Praise the Lord. The next one is called Small Straws in a Soft Wind by Marcia Burns. <sniffs> Dig deeper to know what is in you that needs to be refined and reach higher to establish yourself more completely in the spirit the flesh profits you nothing, but living in the spirit is everything. Compromise is not an option. James 4.4 4 was added. Adulterers and adulteresses, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Whoever therefore wants to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. Okay, that's that's the end of that one. And I am saying it's way more than being an adulterer or an adulteress, which we know can come from just lusting from the heart, right? So examine your own self before the Lord and make it right. Moving on. This is uh, from Handmaid of the Most High. Remember I said, Louisiana and surrounding areas take heed. I'm not sure if that comes from the Lord or her, but I believe that it comes from the Lord. Now below that it says, Careening Toward Chaos, Part 12. Given August 28, 2021, at 3.01 p.m. to Handmaid of the Most High. Children, the warnings have gone out. It is now commencing those who have prayed and sought direction from me will now see what has begun to unfold. Do not blame me or shake your fist saying you were not told. I will remind you that those wait a minute, that that those that were disobedient had more than 100 years to repent when Noah built the ark. They did not believe. But then the rains came and they were believers. Not all were told to leave. Those who have been obedient, I promise that the suffering... Wait a minute. Not all were told to leave? Those who have been obedient, I promise that the suffering the wicked will endure will not be your portion. I'm not sure what he means by that. We're not told to leave as in New Orleans, leave their area because of the storms. Surely he doesn't mean back in Noah's day. So it is a different paragraph. So I'll move on. You who are sick in body or are caring for others that are sick, you will soon see me. Now, you know that means if you haven't, you know what. There are others 
that protect and serve my children and that is your call and you have been faithful you too will receive your reward for being faithful to your purpose and calling there are others who served in ways that only they and i know i see you i have directed your feet and so keep your belief and peace i promised i am with you i will not be slack in keeping my promises for my love for you is so great that it could only come from a loving god and not a man do not be moved by the words of man or the enemy your patience and endurance will be rewarded and you will receive your crown what you do in secret i will reward for all to see hold on and endure to the end my beloved child many are coming home to me but sadly not as many as i would have liked you have endured the sin that surrounds you and the wickedness of your people some within your family and co-workers the evil doers will have their place in the lake of fire those who have been faithful to share my love and work on the cross do not carry the guilt and shame you feel the enemy has tried to make you feel accountable for their sins and this is not your burden i have not sent these storms i am allowing them the land and region cries out for justice and they who do evil will reap what they have sown did i not say that the last days would be worse than sodom and gomorrah one only needs to read the news or walk down the streets of new orleans to see all manner of filth before them it is a place of utter defilement and the demons worship with the flesh that they have harvested and inhabit i did not choose this for these people they made their own choices theirs is a garden of evil it will be wiped off the face of the earth and few will mourn it beloved trust always in me i am here i am listening i am utterly in love with you and will never abandon those who are of me trust fear not what man can do fear only god the one who made you the lover of your soul and then there's some scriptural references here that we can look up we can all do that on our own time but that would be a good bible study there's not a whole lot but enough to give you a good solid hour of some bible study now this one is get your boarding pass from may 17th 2019 from handmaid of the most high after having received some very strong messages for the body a few hours earlier i was troubled i had repeatedly cried because of the second vision about the lost sheep and the sins in the church i was sharing my heart with the father and this is what happened around 5 30 p.m today i was telling the lord i am ready to leave well i was telling him that today myself brothers and sisters okay back to the message uh or vision let's see was this the vision i was sharing my heart with the father and this is what happened around 5 30 p.m today i was telling the lord i am ready to leave he responded look at your boarding pass i then saw a vision 
I was standing in my airport in the area leading to flights which were departing. I could faintly hear men and women announcing flights. I looked down at my hand. I had a boarding pass that said, HEAVEN, typed out in all caps. Two hours earlier, I had two separate visions with themes relating to the harvest. This vision also reflects the late hour. Three visions in three hours has never happened to me. A word of caution, there are those who have varying opinions about the end of the Christian era. It is, boy, tell me about it. It is clear to me that this vision and message time frame apply to more than one specific time in history. Yet, it is a message for the entire body. This vision confirms only that I am leaving in the East Coast tsunami as detailed in the message, The Coming Destruction of the United States of America, given May 2016.